Okay, we're going to do our second part of ratios. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to, I'm still going to stay with 2019 exam paper, but we're going to do gearing. Now, generally, this won't come up as a in part A. You're going to have to do it as a commentary. So, for the six years, no harm in you go back and listen to this. If you understand it, just go to the notes at the end of what you need to put in. Okay, so gearing, you have to say, when we're looking at gearing, you're looking at the capital structure. Now, the capital structure, what do I mean by that? If you look at your paper there, 2019 question, finance by shows your capital structure. And that just means where did you get your money from? Now, if you look at this business, this business has got money from a loan, and it's got money from shareholders, and it's got money that it has saved from profits over the years. So it's borrowed 250, and it's put in 837,000 of its own money. So where did the business get its money from is what we're looking at here. So we're looking at finance by. Debt capital in this scenario, they borrowed 250,000. And the amount that they've put in themselves is 837,000. So just looking at this from an outsider's point of view, you would say that the owners of this business really believe in it. They put in so much money themselves. Now, when you want to do gearing, in uh, part B. So the gearing ratio wants to know what percentage of your capital is debt capital. So the gearing formula is your debt capital all over both of these, okay, all over the total amount of money invested in your business. Now the total amount of money invested in your business is called capital employed. And this figure here, this very last figure, in your balance sheet is actually capital employed CE and you want it as a percentage okay so if we look at this question you borrowed 250,000 the total amount invested in this company was a million and eighty seven thousand and I want to know what percentage of the money uh, that was put into this business was borrowed so you've 250 Remember, we give two places decimals. Um, now, in my answer, I'm getting 22.999. So that is really 23% of the money came from outsiders. So the first thing you're going to do under the heading of gearing, you calculate it. Now, the second step that you're going to say is number one, we do what we did in your dividend policy. You comment on the gearing ratio from last year. Now, if I look at the exam question, the gearing was 56%. So in 2017, gearing was 56%. Then you say what it is this year. So number two, in 2018, gearing is 23%. Always the third thing we want to comment on the trend. Okay, so let's look at this. Last year, 56% of your money came from being borrowed. This year, 23% of your money is borrowed. So that has to be good. So the trend is good. There's a decrease of 33%. Now I'm going to just write over here. Now the next one is, I need you to say whether the company is high geared or low geared. It's low, it's under 15. So number four, you say the company is lowly geared. Now for all of you, just put in a note there. If the answer had been greater than 50, you would say it's highly geared. So the company is lowly geared and that's good. Number five, you then will say, the company is not dependent on outside investors. That has to be there. Okay, so the company is not dependent on outside investors. Okay, that's the next point that you would always say. And um, the last one that I want you to say 
company is not at risk from outside investors. Now, obviously, just remember here, if this has been highly geared, we would say the company is dependent on outside borrowings, and we say that the company is at risk from outside investors. Okay, so again, that's going to get you your 5% and always get you your 5% in the exam. Now, I just want to put in a note for you. Note, okay, just in case, not just in case, if the exam question asked about potentially giving you a new loan. So if the exam question was about you're going to get a new loan, and the new loan was for 100,000. Okay, you would do exactly the first six points, but you have extra points to do here. You would have to recalculate the gearing ratio and talk about it. Now you imagine here, now it's not in this question, I'm just assuming it is. You imagine here, if I got a new loan, this now will become 350. Okay, because I got another loan for 100. And this now will become 1,187,000. So when you're calculating your new gearing ratio, it'll be 350 over 1,187,000 by 100 over 1. Now, hopefully, you should find that your gearing should have went up because you've borrowed more money. And your gearing has went to 29 point four nine percent so they expect if it's a loan you're considering taking out a new loan and i'm just saying here if the example was the new loan was hundred thousand you to recalculate the gearing ratio and show what would happen to the gearing if you got the loan so the first thing is you say your gearing would increase but you would all, but you would still be lowly geared okay and that would get you your full marks for your gearing so just again for uh, this is the formula And your debt capital is the amount of your loan. Your capital employed is all money invested. So it's the final figure. And you have to, the, the points just have to be learned off. And every time I'm correcting your test from now on, I want to see the six points written there. If you have them written in the leading search, they have to give you the full marks. Right, so with your heading on gearing, you do two ratios. You do your gearing ratio and we do our interest cover ratio. Now think of cover, how many times could you pay your interest payments? So let's look here. Your interest is paid out of your operating profit and your interest is 15,000. I want to know how many times were you able to pay that 15,000? So it has to be operating profit all over interest payments. So it's how many times? So your operating profit is 105,000. Your interest payments is 15,000. So I want to know how many times could you have paid your interest? And that's seven times, and that's really, really good. Okay, your comments again. In 2017, interest cover was 4.3 times. Number two, in 2018, Interest cover is seven times. Okay, so talk about the trend always. Trend is good. You have an increase of 2.7 times. What does this actually mean? It means that the company will be able to meet its interest repayments. Again, that's usually about 2% in the exam. Uh, but interest uh, cover can come up in part A. If it comes up in part A, you can get about 12% for this. Uh, probably 10 for calculating it and 2 for the comments. So again, very, very simple if you keep with the structure. Okay, so write down your formula, fill it in, make sure this is two decimal places. You have to give your units and there's your comments to get your full marks on your gearing.